Yeah, thank you. It's, it's quite massive. I don't think we quite realize, you know, what we already achieved without playing a game. Um, I think it's it's going to be awesome tomorrow just seeing everyone coming out. And I think, you know, apart from the cricketing things and apart from being successful and winning games, I think there's a responsibility of inspiring a nation as well and inspiring young girls, you know, to, to get out of their comfort zones and to, I guess, you know, imagine um, a career that they can do anything. And I think that's that's one of our biggest roles as a team we, we would like to play, not just winning games, but also inspiring a nation to, you know, to give them that opportunity to know that they can be anything they want. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's always it's always difficult being a standing captain. You're always one foot in, one foot out. But I think, um, you know, as I grew up, I was always a leader at, at some stage um, in, in whatever team I played. So I think those leadership you know, qualities came natural to me, and I think it's a it's a role I would really like to grow into. Um, and I think you know, every game you play, you get more accustomed to you know to your teammates next to you and what they want and what they need. So I think every game you play, you you grow into that role. And I think the older I get, the more I understand as well what needs to be done. I think it's just a reality. Um, but at the moment, I'm an official captain, so I think it's it makes my job easier to you know to take um, control and and kind of stamp my authority on things and, and how I would like to go about things and how I would like to do things. Um, so I think it, it comes with a new dimension and it, it brings new challenges and difficulties, but it's a, a challenge I'm willing to you know, take on and accept and, and grow in that role. Yeah, it's massive. Um, funny you should bring up my family. My parents just missed their flight. <laughs> but <laughs> Hopefully they make it for the first game to be and supporting me. But no, it's it's massive. And I think, you know, the moment I, I phoned my dad and I told him, you know, this is how it's going to be, he started crying and he was just so proud. I think it's just a massive, massive honor um, to lead a country, not just in any series, but at a home World Cup. I think that makes it even more special. Yeah, I think they're both very aggressive players. I think if you look at, you know, the England World Cup game and the Pakistan World Cup game, you know, Tasman kind of, um, you know, played very aggressively in that England warm-up game and then Laura showed her class yesterday in the Pakistan warm-up game where she took the, you know, took the bowlers on as well. So I think they, they complement each other well. I think when one is going, the other one is kind of just consolidating. So I think it's, it's going to be a very exciting opening pair for us and, you know, I think they have the ability to take, you know, that power play to, to where we want to be and, and push those 40s and 50s. I try not to. I think if you sit down and think about all the things that's happening around you and, and the amount of pressure and you know the big occasion that we have here I think you will put yourself under a lot of pressure um, and that might not go down so well so I'm trying to focus on you know on the game tomorrow evening and just focus on cricket and you know just trying to focus on my plans and what I need to do to execute and and lead the team to a victory so I think it's just you know being in the moment for me and focusing one game at a time. Yeah, I think, you know, T20 cricket can change with every over, but I think for us it's just to focus one game at a time. I don't think we need to be, you know, thinking too far ahead. Um, so I think, you know, our game plan has always been just to focus um, on the game that we have, you know, coming. So I think it's just that and, you know, not to think too far ahead. Otherwise you will, I don't know, get out of the moment and not focus on what you need to do. Yeah, I think, you know, Newlands is, a, is always a good ground to play on. Um, I think obviously with the SA20 being here, a lot of cricket has been played on it, so we're not expecting a road. But um, I think, you know, they're also producing very good wickets, so it should be a very good wicket. Um, and in terms of Sri Lanka, we know they're a subcontinent team. They're going to throw a lot of spin overs at us. Um, so that's something we need to, we need to address, and, and we're also very well prepared for that. And I think, you know, they also have a well-balanced side with some strong hitters and some players that's just knocking it around and taking those ones and twos. Um, so I think it's, it's going to be a well-balanced game, um, and I think it's going to be, you know, a game for us that we really need to try and, and be out our best.